There he is, y'all. That's the man, the myth, the legend, <laughs> Joey Haluska. Hey, do me a favor. Go get that that 22 stock you had refinished. Wait till you guys see this. This is cool. This is this is good old friendship stuff here. All right, let's see it. Now tell me about that gun. My grandpa gave this to me when I was a kid, and it was his gun when he was a kid. What is it? A 22 long rifle. Let me see the wood. Who redid the wood for you? Larry Baker. Larry did that? Yep. Woo! Dig into that and tell me what you think of that barrel. Holy cow. That thing was shot. There's Look every that. piece. All Cerakoted. Jeez. Perfectly Jeez. replaced. That is amazing. Everything is all perfect. The cap to the gun, everything. Now let's put it together. Yeah, let's put it together and shoot and it. And then, <laughs> that little cube on here, girl right there is gonna shoot it. The price ain't exactly the same as what we dealt. He said there's a lot of work. I don't care, it will be 500 bucks. Nope. Free brother, for you. What? Yep. Guy right here, when you talk about a friend, a friend is somebody who would jump up in the middle of the night and come help you. That's this guy. And that guy. All the guys that hang out out here are those type guys. So it's all you, brother. Man. Free. Free charge. Thank you. It's amazing. Also, it's great. All right, well, while Joey puts together this gun, I'm gonna do what we do all the time out here. I've already got some, some charcoal getting hot on the grill. This is a St. Louis style rib. This is a pork spare rib, and these are beef back ribs. They're individual, and I'm just gonna slow cook them. This is Everglades rub. This stuff right here, y'all, make a monkey hug a hound dog. That's some good stuff right there. And uh, brand new, I just got it from Publix. Everglades cactus dust. Whew, what'd you think about all that? Hmm. Good stuff. All right, you about ready to put together this gun? Yeah, man. I wish all you guys, everybody that watched the channel, I wish y'all could just come out here one evening. There's always five, six, seven of us come out for an hour or two. Relax. Oh, and Carly, she's always back there. So all you 14-year-old boys better stay away. <laughs> but uh, anyway, we're about to start grilling. Good times. Yeah, that's what there is for sure right on the heat, just like that. These we'll put over here, just like that. Just like that. Close the lid. Good. All right, so we got these sweet potatoes wrapped in tin foil. All our gri all our ribs are cooking. We good. You gonna shoot it? Oh yeah. I'll oh, hang around till the first shot fired. <laughs> <laughs> That's Norman Berg, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> What's that duck's name? Hazel. Hazel? What are you doing, little duck? Look at that, boy. How's it feel? It's good. Oh, good. Well, let's get her put together and be all set. Cooking right at 275. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. At 275. Just a sneak peek. Oh boy, look at that. Now stick that target on there. That is cool, man. What are you doing? Moving these ribs to the cool side. One slab anyhow. Now, in all honesty, how many Racks ribs you reckon you've cooked on this thing? Rough guess. 
over a thousand, close to a thousand. Pack the ribs? Probably so. How often? Every weekend almost. Oh, Something's yeah? on that grill. Most, a lot of times it's ribs. Cooking ribs and shooting 22. And in chai. Oh my god. That's perfect. It's not being moved. Yeah. That's perfect. <laughs> Ooh, what are you cooking? Kale chips. What are they? Kale chips. From the garden. It's like fried spinach. Ten minutes in the oven. Oh my Salt god. And pepper. Totally addicting. The grill. Oh and, my god. And healthy. What is that? Kale chips. What do you think? Aren't they yummy? Okay. I have some more. What do you how did you do this? Ten minutes. Fresh kale out of the garden. Four hundred. Salt and pepper and spray. Like Pam spray. I pay it. I spray it with Pam. Nope. I get spray it right with here. Pam. Stuff's good, man. Mm. It's amazing. It's awesome. It tastes like it's got garlic already on it. You'd eat kale all the time, wouldn't you? That's a super food. <laughs> it is. Super good. Oh my god, that's good. <laughs> I got more. <laughs> like Popeye there shoving it in his mouth. Whenever I was eight years old, my dad gave me a gun. It was a Model 94 Winchester, lever action, 22 Magnum. He told me, he said, whenever I give you this gun, I'm giving it to you for your life. I don't want you to ever get rid of it. Don't ever sell it. Don't ever trade it. Don't ever give it away. And somebody stole that gun from me. So it really irritates me to no end. So talking with Joey about this gun, it's a special, special time for me and for him. So. He's gonna tell you more about it now. So, <clears throat> when I was seven or eight years old, my grandpa Joe Haluska gave me this gun. It didn't look like this. It was still in pretty good shape. It, uh, he had it for years. He was a trapper, a gator trapper, frogging. That's how he made his living. And uh, he passed this gun down to me. And this is a gun I learned to shoot on. I believe everybody needs to shoot iron sights as a kid growing up so you know how to shoot. And, and this is the gun he gave me. I have many, many guns in my safe. This gun right here is my favorite. It means a lot to me. It's been fat, passed down. It's uh, very special to me. And uh, Robert took this to um, Chuck's gun and ammo. Yeah, I'm Jupiter. And had it uh, coated for me. And the gun is amazing and it's a, uh, I'm lost for words. My daughter, she's 13, but I mean, I am going to pass this down to my daughter. This is her gun from this day on, and it's giving me chills up my spine right now just even thinking about it. How them ribs doing? Looking great. Look at the mushrooms. Mushrooms, sweet potatoes, ribs. Whammy. <laughs> so, this is her gun from here this day oh, on. Yay. It's a family tradition I'm passing down. It's already done. You gotta take care of it. And I love you. Love you and I, this means a lot for me to hand you this gun. Thank you. Oh, it's soft. <laughs> You're not allowed to shoot your duck with it either. I will not shoot my duck. But can I? No. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. You hit right next to the second shot. Yep. Good job. Good. Kiddo. That's a great shot. You always were a good shot. That is a stack of food right there. Take it in the house. All right, y'all. What do you think, Carly? It's hot. It's hot, huh? All right, you guys, look who I've got eating dinner with me tonight. Miss Prego Preggerton. Lord, I thank you so much for this day and for this food. And I thank you for all our many blessings. Thank you so much for little baby Aria. And Lord, I pray that you help her come into this world healthy and happy. Lord, I also pray for my Aunt Debbie, who is in 
terrible pain right now and all those all across the world that are hurting as well. Lord, I thank you for always being there for us through thick and through thin. Please nourish this food to our body in Jesus' name. Amen. Mm -hmm. It's all good. Mm. This is really good. That's what I call the perfect end to a fantastic day. This morning, I was on the boat, down in the bilge, working on all kinds of craziness. And head out of the ranch, cook up a bunch of good food, put that gun together. That's what it's all about. That's what, whenever you see on my slogan, all men die, do you ever really live? That's it. Get out there and enjoy it and have fun with it. Little baby Arya's gonna be here just any day now. <laughs> and it could be tonight. This could be our last Tasty Tuesday. Yeah, this could be our last Tasty Tuesday without Arya. She'll be sitting right there. Well, not like that. She might be sitting right over there. But yeah. Either way, the moment she gets here, y'all will know about it. And if we don't have a Tasty Tuesday next week, it's because she's coming next week. So. Mm -hmm. Either way, we'll probably be at the hospital. Life is good. We're happy. And we appreciate you guys for watching. We go.